In this video, I'm going to show you a feature called dynamic transcripts. And essentially, it's a way of creating transcripts from videos. The transcripts themselves have direct links that are created dynamically to the correct section in the original video. So this is a YouTube video um, and it's a Google Analytics beginners tutorial. And it's a very good tutorial by uh, someone called Josh Hall, uh, where he goes through all the essential elements within Google Analytics. So I want to turn this into a transcript with the correct links. And the way to do that is to go into Designer and create a project, import from audio video, and paste in the link from the YouTube. Click on Next. And it will analyze the video, tell you how long it will take to transcribe that video, which in this case is three minutes, and it will email you when ready. And we need to do is click on Start Transcription. So after a few minutes, you get the notification that the transcription has been uh, finished. It's in your Drafts tab. And when you click on the draft, it will open it up. And what it will do is it analyze the video and pull out screenshots for every significant scene change within the video and link them to the correct moments in the video within your transcript. Okay. And so what remains for you to do is, first of all, just review your transcript. And so you can just so, play it. And you'll see it highlights the words as it's uh, reading it or playing the video back to you. And this is all time synced. So you can see exactly what word relates to what part of the video. And um, as you scroll through, you can check for any grammar or any typos or anything like that. Um, and if there's um, perhaps a screenshot missing, then you can go down to this section. Now I'm going to give you a walk through the click on play and it will scroll the video to the relevant part in the video that matches the transcription. So in this case, he's going to do a walk through the next most important section. So let's take a screenshot of that. And all I need to do is click on this image icon here and it will take a screenshot of that particular clip in the video, augmenting the work that it's already done automatically for me. And so I can do that a bit further down. Perhaps I want to make sure um, that I'm getting, you know, more screenshots to break up my transcript that relate directly to the correct part of the video. So all that remains then is assuming I'm happy with uh, all the content here is to click on next. And I'm going to choose a simple vanilla template, which means there's really nothing in it apart from just text. So I'm going to click on that. Then it will load up Google Analytics uh, demo. And now what will happen is it will pull that into that template for me. So as I scroll down, you can see now these are the screenshots and this is the text that's been pulled in. So this is standard behavior within the video transcript module within Designer. But I want to show you now how to take things uh, a bit further. So first of all, as there's just one speaker here, um, I don't need the speaker name in my final uh, ebook. And so what I can do is click on that and click on this X icon here and we'll remove the speaker names globally from the whole document. Secondly, um, do I need headers and footers? So um, if it's an ebook, many cases you do. Um, if I can turn this into a blog post, then perhaps I don't. So I can actually turn these all off automatically with one click of a button. And so now I have already a clean transcript with videos to go along with the transcript, uh, sorry, with screenshots. 
Um, and of course, all of these images uh, are resizable um, and I can indeed wrap them perhaps in the text themselves to make it a bit more of a book. So let me do that for a second. So I've tidied up the images and um, I put some of them in wrap text like this and some of them I've just left as is. Um, turned off the headers and footers and put a, a title um, on the front page like that. So all that remains now for me to save it and publish the PDF. So here it is as um, a conventional PDF. You can see the index all the way down here. And um, anywhere within the actual transcript where I see an image, if I click on that image, it will take me directly to the relevant part in the original video. So, for example, I clicked on that uh, link just there, and this is the original. Okay, so I clicked on that and it took me to the relevant point um, within the actual original video. So for anyone who's um, reading a training course or how-to video like this, for example, and they're scanning and looking at for bits that are of interest and they're stuck perhaps on one certain section, then all they need to do then is just click on the video, click on the screenshot, and it will take them again directly to that video, just like that. And finally, when or if you want to publish to your blog, instead of publishing to PDF, you simply click on HTML and remove headers and footers in the cover because you don't need that in a blog post and leave off styles so that it will inherit the style in the blog post. Clip co uh, copy to clipboard and then simply paste that into the raw text section of your blog post. Don't worry about the content of the code, just paste it in like that and click on publish and this is what you end up with. So here is the full post. Um, so the whole transcript all neatly formatted, styled with your images all embedded and all these images are live. So if you click on any of the images, it will go directly to the um, original video. So I'll open it in a new tab. There you go. Okay, so that's directly from your blog post um, to the relevant section within the video. So this is perfect for training videos uh, where you want more SEO traffic to your YouTube videos um, or you want to reach a completely new audience from your videos, people who read more than uh, watch videos. And so this is the perfect way of really quickly transcribing the content, publishing the relevant screenshots and auto linking them back to the correct part of your video. And that is dynamic transcripts.